All right, YouTube. Uh, 2015 Sportsman 1000 XP, which is identical to your 570 XP, the 850 XP, and the 1000 are all the same, and the 1000 Touring, the Scrambler 850, and the Scrambler 1000 all use the same suspension. And I just down here I had to change my steering knuckle because the ball joint hole got all stripped out. So anyway, I started wiggling my A-arms back and forth and I noticed play in the pivot points. All four of them. I'm like, what's going on here? I grease the shit out of this thing. Anyway, put a wrench on it and I realized quickly that the bolt is so loose it wasn't a self-locking nut the bolt would have backed off like the nut would have backed off and came off it and your arms would have fell off so if you have loose bushings try tightening the bolts first mine's tight now look at it no play well a little bit but it's coming from that front one that i haven't tightened yet uh, let's see if you can see it if you can see it a little bit i guess okay trying to make it move but Anyway, I just uh, wiggled on the brake caliper mount there and I can get a little bit of torque out of it. But now the bottom are tight. They were sloppy, sloppy. Sloppy, sloppy, sloppy. But now she's tight just by tightening up the nuts on both sides. A little look at the uh, HD ATV gear pinion bearing support plate. Absolute must. Absolute must because you can't drive it once that bearing plate breaks off so you need that best 150 bucks you'll ever spend HD ATV gear here in Saskatchewan uh, guy's name is Sean Sullivan excellent man to deal with oh and you can see up there RM Stater in Quebec the uh, MOSFET converted voltage regulator this thing was charging 18 volts. Cooked most of my wiring. Yeah, love my Polaris. Yeah, right. Anyway, another Polaris fix it video. There should be more of them. We all have problems with these shit boxes. If, uh, if anybody, anybody else has any uh, ways to fix these and make them better and notice something that comes loose, please let us all know. Right on. Thanks, YouTube.